Hey everybody, RC here. Ready to let you know if you should biota this game. That's right, today we are checking out a cool little like retro platformer called Biota. I think it's how you say it. Uh, but this is a uh, really tough, as I said, retro throwback platformer uh, where you play as uh, this little guy here. And, uh, you know, he could jump around, he could shoot. And, uh, like most retro platformers, you know, it comes with a little bit of challenge here or there. Uh, and, uh, it's also got that whole Metroidvania thing going on, too. So, for those of you who like diverging paths and finding abilities and using those abilities to get elsewhere, like, that's all here. And you're gonna, I think you're gonna dig it if that's the case. Uh, one thing I want to note right off the bat before we get started here is that... If you're not a fan of the way this looks, I don't I don't even remember what the default palette of this game was in the beginning. But if you're not a fan of the way this looks, I'm in Mercury at the moment. It's a little easier on the eyes, I think. But you have a lot of different palettes you can pick from. And on top of that, uh, you could collect other palettes as well. So, yeah, some of these brighter ones are a little, a little tough on the eyes. But that's kind of nice, though, because this is a... In my opinion, a really good accessibility option for people out there who, you know, can't see certain colors very well. You know, people might be colorblind or, or whatever other things, uh, you know, they, they might be dealing with. Uh, so I think this is a, a great thing that was added in. And quite personally, I'm somebody who, and I'm, I'm sure I'm not unique in this, but I'm a big fan of, uh, you know, dark, uh, dark mode on different apps and that kind of thing. So anything that has like a dark mode, I'm totally into. Uh, I believe, okay, so Gemini, I believe this was the original palette here. And this for me is too bright. So once I got into the palette here, I was kind of like, okay, you got wave, which is like, woo, that is <laughs> really bright. You could darken it all the way to grayscale if you want. I was playing in 90s a bit, because it's got a little bit of that old school Game Boy style look to it, you know? So maybe, maybe we'll play with this a little bit. Uh, you can also pick between uh, a few different characters if you want. Actually, we should probably heal. I just realized uh, we only had like one health bar left up in the top there. Uh, but you can pick between uh, four different characters to play as. They all have different attributes and that kind of thing. I've been playing with this guy. I've been having pretty good luck with him. So I'm going to kind of stick with him. He's got this like kind of shotgun thing going on here. Uh, without further ado, why don't we jump in here? So we're at the elevator. I have so far unlocked two different areas. The nuclear plant, which we'll check out first. Uh, in the nuclear plant, uh, we actually... Here's a, here's an enemy we can take out. Uh, hopefully without that guy flamethrowing us to death. There we go. We got him. Um, we, we I unlocked this as the first place I got to. I'm about, if I had to say, 40 between 45 minutes and an hour into the game here. Um, and I, uh, when I came back to the game to load my save, it said I was about 16%, close to 20% into the game here. Uh, but I, I got to this reactor area first, and it's letting me know, like, hey, behind this gaze reactor, the radiation is way too high. Only a robotic unit, uh, robotic unit would have a chance of going through there. So we actually cannot go through that area just yet. Uh, so we're going to go into the elevator. We're going to actually go over here to the brood chambers because that's where we just unlocked another new area so here we are in the brood chambers you guys getting kind of like a sort of metroid metroidy vibe from this definitely like and i'm talking original metroid like metroid nes like it definitely has that kind of bubbly i forget the area of the game off the top of my head but it has that feel to it which i i definitely dig for sure i have like very love-hate memories with that original game, like just getting lost as a kid and being like scared when I got to a certain point in it, you know? Um, but anyway, uh, in this game, uh, at any point, if you feel it, uh, there's no enemies around you or on screen. You can actually hit the back button. It's a, the back button on the Xbox controller and it will save your game right there. So if you ever die, it'll save you right here at this point and you can come back. And you're gonna need that because it does get tough. So here, let's, let's move on here. Looks like we're going to be checking out some new enemies here. Uh, we... Oh yeah, we can, can. Okay, cool. So we can either jump across or wall jump up. So you can wall jump, you can regular jump, you can shoot. Uh, at any point you can hit Y on the controller. You can also check out your map. Uh, so at any point you can go into map mode here 
And you can see all the areas that we have checked out so far. There was the reactor area, which we weren't able to get into. Uh, you can see we've just got into this area over here, the brood area. And then there's an the area south as well. A couple areas south, actually. So as you can tell, I mean, this is a pretty sizable game. Like, I, I first got to this thinking like, oh, this is going to be like a quick, like, you know, hour, <laughs> hour game, you know. But no, it's, it's actually pretty sizable. And uh, like I was saying before, there's some challenge here, too. So if you're looking for a game uh, that you'll probably spend a few hours with, uh, that actually has some challenge, that old school Nintendo, you know, NES Game Boy challenge to it. I think you're going to get that here. Uh, one of the things, uh, though, that uh, you'll definitely have to get used to playing this is the uh, save where you want, you know, the, the auto save situation. Um, because you got to remember to do it. I got to a point where I was getting frustrated with myself because I kept forgetting to do it. Let's blow up some. There we go. Blow that guy up. Keep on moving here. And so there you go. You can see our progress on the map so far. Um, I have not encountered any bosses yet. There are bosses in the game. Uh, from what you can tell if you watch the trailer, there's also like cool vehicles that you'll eventually get to use, which is pretty fun. And of course, the black market guy. So you can buy stuff from this dude here. Unit 34, an advanced droid soldier that's equipped. Okay, so now we can actually buy a robot guy if we wanted to go and... Uh, wanted to go through that reactor area which is pretty sweet but we don't have enough money as you can see in the top right we only have a hundred out of a hundred so i don't know we got to find an upgrade for our wallet to, to actually get through that here uh ammo refill for all special weapons so your character does have a special ability as well which we'll we'll try to use here if we need it uh this particular character they all have a different ability but this particular character has a cool shield that he can use to run through enemies if you see like a particularly difficult part to get through uh you could just like throw that shield on and just run through it which is kind of nice all right so this is going to be kind of a sticky area here so we got these uh, flying bug dudes ah the dude could go through walls you see that oh. so you're going to be dealing with that every now and then too just the enemies like hitting you nothing you can do about it That was a real tight squeeze of an area, though. At the moment, I don't even really know where I'm going. But we're just going to keep exploring and see what we can find here. Uh, check out the map here. So it's my assumption that we just want to keep going right to find, like, the next area. Oh, there's somebody to help there. And there's a save thing. Save things are usually a good indication that we're going the right way. Yeah, okay, so that is instant death, just so you know. <laughs> Hit the old reload here. Okay, so we got enemies up there. What's over here? I assume that thing's supposed to be like a floating jelly in the air or something, but it, to me, I keep looking at it like it's a giant gravestone. Oh, this part's going to be a pain. Ugh. We got hit, but... It's one of the other things in this game, too, that I think people are going to be very happy about, is that there is seems to be no knockback. <laughs> Which, man, if there was knockback in this game, I, I feel like it would be even more frustrating. Alright, we're just going to drop down here. So you can see there's a whole other area over there that we didn't get to explore. I think that is probably the way we gotta go. Let's keep exploring this way, though. Oh! Crap hole. Down to two things of health. That is not good. What's over here? Give me an upgrade of some kind. Give me something. Okay, level one. Unlock. You need a level one key to unlock it. Oh, I have not run into a key door yet. So we got to save there. I didn't need to resave. Uh, okay, so we found a door, which is great, but we can't unlock it until we find the key. 
Oh, we just ran in. Okay, and we're dead. <laughs> ran right into that frog. I guess another thing to mention too is that if you end up getting stuck somewhere and you're not happy with your progress, you do have the ability to return to town as well. Oh, totally screwed that jump. Kill that weird squid guy. Oh, and those are the parts that are really gonna, <laughs> really gonna get you there. Uh, press spacebar, teleport. So let's teleport back to base. Uh, what we're gonna do here is we are going to heal, first and foremost. And then we are gonna jump back in. I just wanna show you guys a different tile set, just so you can get an idea of what's going on here. Uh, in this particular area here, is there anywhere we haven't explored? We haven't gone down there yet. Maybe we'll go check that out real quick. Um, but as you can see here, this is a completely different style area here. It's uh, got, got these like crazy steam bats that spray out. If you touch those, that is instant death. And we got all of these like slimy creatures as well. Uh, so if you don't want to, <laughs> if you don't want to deal with the slimies, it's too bad. You're gonna you're gonna be ending up you're gonna end up dealing with some real slimy folk in this game here. Um. But yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying myself with this game. I'm, I'm still super early in. Like I said, I'm about an, an hour in. And you guys know how these Metroidvanias go. It's it's like, you either... Uh, ooh, which way do we want to go here? I guess we can go to the... No, we can't. We're not down there. Uh, you know, it, it often takes... Uh, you know, a little time to kind of like fully feel out uh, the game, you know? And I wanted to do this one kind of early because uh, this is a game that I, I, I feel like, you know, having only put an hour into, I was already like, oh, the guy keeps turning around, I don't know why. Control's a bit strange. And that might be one of the only things that I, I'm not the biggest fan of with this game is like, sometimes the control can feel a bit awkward, a bit weird. Um, sometimes when you're landing to, to shoot an enemy, for example, like, you can't shoot immediately. You don't have complete control of your shot. It, it takes, like, even if he didn't shoot right before that, um, he kind of needs, like, a second to, like, you know, to get a shot off. And that, that could be a little annoying. It's, it's something to get used to, for sure. All right, from here, yeah, we want to go to the right. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of uncover like a different area we haven't been to yet. And okay, yeah. So there's only one way to go. It's kind of a dead end. So we'll go check it out. Oh, yeah, we'll just keep going. Oh, there is another door. Hey, look at that. We found a new place. I'll take it. So where are we? Oh, great. This is actually the best thing we could have discovered here. Check this out. We can get in the mech. Where is this considered? Oh, sweet. So I'm glad this happened. Oh, we're out of fuel, though. I was going to say we get to actually ride this thing, but no, we don't get to ride it. We just get to <laughs> be told that we don't have the fuel for it. Oh, what a bummer. What a bummer. I was like, okay, cool. We're going to run through some enemies here. Oh, man. Well... I guess that's a good place to end it anyway. But man, what a bummer. Where's the fuel at? Is there no fuel here? Do I need to buy fuel? Or do I, need to, do I just need to find it? Uh, I'm very I'm very sad about that. I really wanted to show you guys this cool mech. If you watch the trailer, you can actually see it in action. But man, that would... <laughs> oh man, that really, that really bums me out. Oh, I thought we were going to do it. Um... But there you go, guys. That's Biota. That's a, that's about an hour into the game. I, I think it's a, a really cool game. I think it's got a lot to offer. Uh, really looking forward to checking that mat, that mech out. If you're looking for a you know harder throwback old school game, definitely check this out on Steam. It's ten bucks, and uh, it's uh, looks like it's got some 
you know, it's got some legs to it. You know, it's not just a, you know, a hard platformer with some Metroidvania elements. It looks like it's it's got a little bit of humor to it uh, in the way some of the characters talk. Uh, it's got some really cool designs in it, you know, for using like a limited palette. Uh, and you can swap between all the different palettes, which is also cool. I love the save feature where you can basically just like quick save with no enemies around. Um, but yeah, it's it's actually a pretty cool little game. Uh, but guys, yeah, just want to say uh, thank you for watching as usual. And of course, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.